Hi everyone, it's Karen from Crafty Karen Designs here. Welcome to Fun Fall Friday. Um, <clears throat> today's card is a um, centre fold card. Uh, and I saw Donna Gray making something like this on her channel um, a couple of weeks ago. Um, she made them slightly smaller. I've changed these up to, to, to make them into square cards. Um, but it's the same principle. You can do them whatever size you want. Um, the first one I did was with the Feels Like Frost and some snowflakes and Merry Christmas, made it into a Christmas card. Um, then the second one I did, I thought I'd make it into a winter birthday card. So again, it's still the Feels Like Frost paper and some snowflakes, but this time I've used um, the Happiest of Birthdays stamp set on this one. So we're going to make another winter birthday card now and this time we're going to make it in Rococo Rose and I'm going to show you how, to, how I made it. So first of all um, you need a piece of card which is five and seven eighths by the full length of A4. So that's it's about eleven and three quarters. Yeah. So I'm going to score that. at, let's see if you can see, there we go, I'm going to score that at five and seven eighths. And then to make the panel down the front we need to um, make a cut at one inch. So turn it onto the short side and cut down at one inch down to the score line and then flip it over and do the same on the other side like that and then we can just chop those bits off Just chop that last bit off with the scissors. So we'll move that out of the way for a minute. And I'll sit down again. So then we're going to fold and burnish on that fold line. And we'll just rub the bone folder over these cut edges. Just missed a little bit there, so I'll just trim that off. Left a bit of the score line behind. There we go. So the DSP I've decided to use is this one. I think this is really, really, really pretty and I think it'll look quite nice on there. So what we need to do, <coughs> bring the trimmer in again, we need to cut two one inch strips off here. So I'm going to do one off that side, like that, and I think I'll do one off the other side as well. Whoops, wrong one. And that leaves us with that one for the panel in the middle. So, what did I say this was? Five and seven eighths. So we'll make the um, panels five and five eighths. So we'll just trim these off. Trim this one off. Take that one off the bottom, I think. 
I'll just check the width of that one. We'll make that three and five eighths. All the measurements will be over on my blog. Crafty Karen Design stop blog spot dot com. Get rid of that rubbish. So that will go on there. These pieces will go on the outside like that. So upside down. No, that was right. So we'll put some whisper white on the inside. So we'll just cut a piece of that and we'll make that five and five eighths squared. And that'll go in there like that. Uses a little bit more cardstock this one, but um, makes a nice change sometimes too, to have something that's a little bit different. So I'll just put some Tombow on the back of here. And we'll add that. Chop that top bit very straight, did I? That's better. Then we'll add these to the side here with just with a little border. All the way around the outside. They don't look the same size either, do they? Do they? No, one's a little tiny bit longer. I mustn't have had them lined up properly. There we go. Yep. So we'll add those on there just leaving a little tiny border all the way around the outside and as I said um, I was watching Donna Gray make some cards like this um, and she was she used lots of different ones too she did some um, Forever Blooms I think it's called the one with the beautiful rose but she used the smaller flower and what else did she use? Oh, she used the um, Trimming the Town DSP as well. So go and check her out. She made some really cute cards. It's nice to watch other people and get a little bit of inspiration sometimes. I'll just chop another little sliver off there. So it lines up with the two on the sides that's better so just leave yourself a little border all the way around for the um, for one of the cards that I've already made I used um, a shop bought pre-scored um, card base and they're always slightly they say the six by six but they never are they're always slightly different so it's best to just check I think that's quite pretty so now we'll do some stamping and what I did was I got a one inch strip of whisper white Go along there, or should we have Rococo Rose? We could have Rococo Rose with a white one in, on it as well. We'll go for Rococo Rose. So we'll make that. Chop about an inch off this one. 
and see where we go with that. This is what's known as crafting on the fly. And I've been using the um, Lovely You. Lovely, what's it called? Pick a punch, the Lovely You Pick a punch. So we'll slide that in there and we'll just check the back and make sure it's it's level. And we'll do the other end. You just need to check on the on the other side of this to make sure it's lined up because with having two channels in it, it sometimes moves. go on there like that. These edges look very rough on this. Maybe I need to change my blade. So what shall we stamp on that one? Should we have a smaller one? Let's have a three quarters of an inch one, white one. And we'll make that just under four inches so that can go in the middle of that and we'll punch both ends of that one This one a birthday card or shall we make it something else? I'm not sure whether that that sentiment that I used on that one will fit. I don't think it will fit on there. So bear with me while I find another stamp set. Just talk amongst yourselves for a minute. How about this one from Gorgeous Poses, Celebrating Your Day? That's quite a nice one. Found it in here. Stop. There we go. So I think we'll stamp that in with Coco Rose. These are really quick and easy cards and you can churn them out quite quickly but then make them all slightly different. There we go. So we'll add that to that with some Tombow. some Tombow just to the middle of that. And add that so it rests on the bottom. So you've got a bit more for it to lean on when it stands up. Like that. And I think we'll have a bow on this one. And I had some ribbon here before. What have I done with it? Oh, there it is. So I've got doing a bow on camera. This is just a little scrap I had left. Oh, that's not bad. I'll put that up there. 
we'll just chop the tails off. And all the glue dots. I think we'll have some snowflakes on this one too. Why not? They're really pretty, these snowflakes. Take the pick tool, what we're done with that. There we go. And we'll have. And they're iridescent, these um, snowflakes. So they look different depending on what you put them with. Another one there. I can tell I like these. Scatter them about a bit. Up here. How many have we got now? Five, six, seven. Another one here, eight. And they need to be odd numbers, so we'll have another one. There. there we go. How quick and simple was that? It just stands up like that. Really quick, really easy. Fun fold card. And as you can see, you can change it round to make it any sort of celebration. So we've got Christmas. You could add some more, um, another sentiment in there or a bit more stamping. Oh, but I like to leave some room to write on Christmas cards because sometimes you're sending Christmas cards to people you don't see very often, aren't you? So you might have something to tell them. You can see the sequins. And then we've got this one. Pretty birthday card and then another one and this one could be an anniversary a birthday any sort of celebration there we go I hope you like them I hope you give them a try don't forget all the um, measurements will be over on my blog crafty Karen designs blogspot.com and um, if you haven't already subscribed, I'd be really grateful if you could click on the button below um, and then click on the bell and you'll get notified next time I upload a new video. And I'd really appreciate it if you could give me a thumbs up. Thanks very much for watching. See you next time. Bye.